Welcome back, everybody, to this DCS Liberation Campaign. So that last mission was pretty kick-ass. Had a lot of fun. Uh, I was pretty successful against that. Um, was it SA-6 site? Yeah. Uh, using those um, CBU-105s at the F-16. In fact, we're going to do something similar today. we got a pesty uh, SA-5 that needs handling. Uh, but let me get into that after um, I talk a little bit about the strategy for today. Um, so we have an interesting situation, actually, um, with us taking uh, Hate, and then we took uh, Topka, the previous mission. Uh, we actually have um, Aldehar uh, surrounded here and ready for the taking. Uh, the problem is, is that they got an SA-3 and a lot of ground units. <clears throat> so we have to be careful. Plus, they have, uh, what, 18 MiG-23s uh, <laughs> at the airport. So... Um, we are going to send in everything we got. Today is going to be Battle of Abu Adhar today. <laughs> uh, but the SA-5 site that I'm going to be playing with is down here. But, um, but So essentially, I need to get in a lot of tar cap to protect our ground forces. We don't have a lot of ground forces. And so we've got to do our best to get in some cast flights to help with this, uh, but also protect them as well. So I got both of these guys on elimination and aggressive. Uh, we're going to try to take it. That'd be sweet. Uh, additionally, um, we also have an interesting situation here with the um, Shignar Valley. Uh, the FOB uh, location here is pretty close to be taken. And they have zero ground units and really nothing defended other than these, uh, apologize, uh, these BMPs. But we only have a few units here, so i got to send in a cast flight as well uh, to try to take that. But you can see it's pretty well protected. We have the SA-5 right here and everything. So that's the one I'm going to target. Uh, additionally, I'm going to keep these guys on uh, defensive posture here. and But we got to support them because they do have a lot of ground units. So we've got to have some tap or tar cap and also um, a cast flight flying out here. we got to protect them. So pretty interesting situation. We can potentially take uh, these two uh, facilities on this churn if we play this outright. Um, we've got to support our ground units. We are we're really getting down to skeleton crews here. Um, <laughs> our, our air force is really depleted. Our ground forces are depleted or stretched thin with the multiple fronts here. Uh, so cast flights are key, and we got to get them in there and protect them. So let's get into a little bit of my flight today. Um, so I told you about this SA-5 site. It needs to be taken care of. Uh, so I'm going to go in a solo ship F-16. Uh, I'm going to take some CBU-105s again. I'm going to try to get in low um, and fly in low. Um, but I'm not the only one striking it. I do have a, um, a deed flight. Is this it? No. That's not it. Where are you, Mr. Deed Flight? Yeah, that's a Deed Elephant. So I have a couple, uh, some F-18s to kind of do some seed escort and deed um, at that location as well, uh, right before I come in. So hopefully they can kind of keep them distracted and and um, work on that SA-5 side a little bit, launch some um, uh, JSOWs at it, uh, and then hopefully that seed escort will um, throw some harms that way while I come in and try to drop off some of those 105s. So that's the idea. Uh, a lot of MiG-23s here at Duhar. Um, and Palma has 10 SU-30s. So we got to be careful of that. So <laughs> they're probably going to be operating in the area where I'm going to be. Uh, I do have lots of tar cap, though. I'm throwing everything at it today. <laughs> we got to capture these two because uh, we really are hurting with fin finances. So if, should that happen, should we take those, I'm probably going to play defensive for a while and try to build up our revenues and our air forces again and just protect these bases for a while. So that's it. So that's today's strategy and, um, and, uh, and our flight today. So I will uh, jump into Viper here. It's an early morning, 6 a.m. Uh, same thing here. <laughs> uh, I don't sleep very well. Anyways, uh, clear, uh, it's clear, no rain, no fog. So we got good conditions. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to fly in low. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. Uh, if we have lots of um, 
enemy air and going to have to get up up and probably engage them as well. So, okay, well, let's jump into Viper and I'll see you at Insert. All right, you take care. See you in a second. Hey, everybody, welcome back. So, sitting here at Insurrect, Viper's all lined up. I uh, got the bird all ready to go. Um, so, let's check out our ordnance today. It's our targeting pod and four CB 105s, two uh, M9Xs, and two Charlies for the, uh, sorry, for the uh, AMRAMs. Looks like that KC-135 is taking off uh, for runway 230. Ford 1-1, one, one. request taxi to runway. Got a busy little airport today. Lots of flights coming out, I answer it. Here's our flight plan for today. Uh, targets 5 through 15 are our target points. I uh, really do want to hit target 5 and 6 if possible. Um, launchers are not are pretty much ineffective as long as we take out the radars for SA-5. Take up time, 618. Take a peek here at yeah, lots of traffic going on to um, Insurrect, so we'll just hang tight for a sec. My four remaining Raptors I'm sending out. <laughs> I'm not going to replenish them. Cool little takeoff. Comes the second one. Give us clearance here in a sec. A lot of flights here are still lining up for, so probably after these guys line up, this one will get clearance. Got 15 sticking active. Some 16s and a couple more Raptors taxiing to the right. Strike Eagles. So hopefully I get this campaign done by the time the uh, Strike Eagle comes out because it looks like uh, Liberation uh, 6.1.1 has come out. Uh, but you have to start a new uh, new game, so we would lose this campaign if we did that. So I'll probably wait until the Strike Eagle comes out to do a new campaign, but we still have a lot of work to do on this one. Uh, but if the Strike Eagle comes out before that, uh, I probably won't. Um, I'll just continue on this campaign. All right, they're getting close. Hopefully we can taxi up pretty soon here.
I'll just see if there's any other planes moving. Looks like we're good. I've learned with Liberation uh, or DCS because there's so many flights uh, taking off, you really mess it up if you uh, if you taxi too early. Uh, it's okay if you're on a on a smaller airport with a smaller amount of planes, but when you have a lot, you really can mess things up. So, just something to learn. Something I've learned with DCS and lots of units. At least we can sit here and watch all the planes take off, right? Kind of cool. Those two Vipers taking off. We should get clearance right after that. Here we go. Clear to taxi to runway two three. We got a push time of 626.41 at waypoint one. Oh yeah, we're pointing good. Just heard a loud noise, just like what hit my plane. <laughs> Pretty morning. Yeah, it's gonna be a huge battle today. Limited cap. I think you just saw the cap take off right there. <laughs> I think we're down to uh, eight eagles and uh, four four raptors. Uh, for cap, and then I have only I think six F-16s total right now, so we are definitely hurting. Uh, I do have uh, about 16 um, Tomcats, which I am using, uh, but they're off the Western Front. <laughs> I love how insurrect you have changes in elevation here as we're actually going uphill right now. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think insurrect is probably the coolest base on all the maps. It's big. No problems putting the, the heavy lifters here either. No problem taxiing. Bird's pretty much ready to go. Is he waiting for me? Nay. Should have some F F-18s also, yeah. So this 
This Eagle and these two F-15s are going to provide uh, cap support on that eastern front uh, to help support our troops over there. And the A-10s flying in. Taking off behind me? Very nice. Watch out, sir. Six forty one. Okay. Good point two. Don't have it. Time, but it's fine. SA SA five site. <laughs> so hopefully those uh eighteens get on station on time.
Yeah, I might be on my own for this one. <laughs> Buddy spy, yeah. F-15. Forty-two after, right? And then we're supposed to be striking at forty-seven after. All right. Force one one, Overlord one one, pop-up group two one two four sixty. Eight minutes. Man, there's a lot of activity. I got some 30s looking at me right now. Watching a little bit. Seven miles. Fort one one, Overlord one one, Bra one nine five four seventy at thirty thousand knots. Looks like those thirties lost me. That's good. Oh man, there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of flights over this target area. <laughs> Let me 
we did a few. I'm gonna keep the fuel bags on. Cause I'm gonna need fuel to get out of there quick. Jammer's on. Okay, we are good. Countermeasures, we'll set countermeasures to program two. The hostile at 22,000 feet. Sort of. Looks like they're 50 pick me up. Two five nine. A couple 23s sitting over the target site. It's right above me here, upper left. On, they are ready. We are good. All right, we are one minute from show time. Overlord, one station, nine, two, five, four, two, five, four, one, three, fifty, thirty, 
14 miles. Frickin' airplane. Next target area here. <laughs> Alright. Select here. Eight miles. Alright. Five sees me. Pickle. Pickle. Let's get the hell out of here. Fat Blair. Chevy one engaging bandit at both zero two four nine. Fat Blair. 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 Flare, altitude, altitude, counter. All right, hit, hit the targets, baby. Come on, hit him. That, my friend, is how you take it out of SA5 site. How we done fuel? Man, we are burning fuel like big time. Done a 6,000 pounds. Alright, let's pop up. Ooh, a lot of activity going on. Alright, this area is open for business with the SA-5 down. That's me, bro. Mercy notches. Oh crap, I got friendly in the area. Uh oh. Get out of there, bro. Oh no. I might get a friendly kill here. 
Ready, Spike? Yeah, I know. You're like, why'd you fire at me, dude? Good deal. I know it says Yankee on the, uh, I was punching in Texco 37 Yankee, but it looks like X-Ray is working. <laughs> that can't. 57 miles. Oh, I should probably go tank up. I got plenty of fuel, but, you know, I need the practice. Okay, so that was pretty good, uh, pretty good little strike there. Um, uh, Glad I didn't get that friendly kill there. I launched on that SU-23, and it looks like that F-15 had already engaged him. Uh, so, um, yeah, so I was, I was fortunate there. Uh, I didn't realize they were so close. I saw them on the uh, HSD, but not that. I guess they were closer than I saw. So. Yeah, I'll see if Yankee's working for me. No, I'll put it back on X-ray. Okay. And it's come one channel eight. Thank <laughs> you. 
Very good. So flying out of the target area here, we're gonna go hook up the tanker, get a little little sip fuel, probably just take a couple thousand pounds, and then we'll head back to Insurrect. I have plenty to get back to Insurrect. I'm just doing this just to have a little fun. <laughs> Got to keep up my uh, my tanking skills. It's uh, pretty can be difficult. All right, so waypoint 18 is where we're landing. So that's Insurrect. Okay. And I got no bags on the plane today. I dropped them, uh, so I don't need to open up my uh, my door yet. Put you on standby. Need to go to steady on our our lights, and we'll turn off the radar when we get a little bit closer. We go to Cat One. Chevy One, engaging bandit at bullseye zero four five for ninety at twenty three thousand. And forty six miles up. Good habits to bring up your bingo page. And we'll put the DD data on our heads up display. All right, well, I'll put you, put you on pause right here, and I'll see you when we're getting close to the tanker and uh, hooking up with that tanker, okay? All right, see you in a second. All right, welcome back. So we're hooking up here with the tanker. Getting a little slow here. Looks like he's going about 320. Messing with my uh, communications, the tanker. Yeah, he's moving. All right, we're getting recontact here. Ready, recontact. Take it up to about six to seven thousand pounds of fuel. Go, mate. I'm there. Contact. There we go. You're taking fuel.
I suppose we could uh, go do some uh, cat flight. Hey, now let's not get too close. Uh, it's already been a pretty successful mission. All right, we're good there. Let's go ahead and abort refuel. I got 6,200 pounds. Abort rejoin. Thank you for the fuel, sir. Close that up. All right, cool. That was fun. A little squirrely. It would have been nice if I could have been held a little bit uh, steadier there, but uh, we'll be fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear out of here. And let's go to Mr. Point 18. It's awful quiet right now. <laughs> I did turn off that. They were messing with my comms. With the uh, tinker. So I turned off the, uh, the cap. The cap lights that are out. Uh, so we hit eight ground targets there. No air to air to air kills gotta love the 105 and the 97 baby all right it looks like we got a little bit of jaunt to get to steer point oh that's weird steer point 18 yeah we're 100 miles out so i'll see you on uh when we're getting on uh we're flying in for uh, landing there. Okay, we'll see you in just a minute. All right, welcome back. So yeah, we are about 20 miles out here from Inserik. I already called inbound. Uh, we're just lining up here for overhand break on runway 230. There we go, Inserik's over there. Safe here, yep, we're all good.
I feel like we lost a lot of airplanes today. <laughs> Alright, we're a little high here. You need to be about 1500 feet above uh, field level. Trimmel set up here, man. All right, there we go. I see some airplanes made it back. Taxi, right?
All right, good landing here. Uh, pretty successful day. I think we lost a lot of airplanes today. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get this bird uh, taxied and uh, parked and shut her down, and uh, I'll see you in the debrief in just a second. All right, see you in just a minute. All right. All right, welcome to debrief here. Uh, as you can see, lots of aircraft were destroyed. Total of 56, frontline units destroyed 23, and convoy units destroyed 19. Uh, nice to know those A-10s engaged those because they were uh, heading up. No bases were captured. Ouch. Uh, so we put a lot of resources into that to capture those um, those two little bases and got nothing. Ooh, so this is unfortunate. And then lastly, uh, 29 ground objects destroyed. Uh, let's go and accept the results. Gotta close my eyes. <laughs> oh gosh. So we lost three Tomcats. We lost two Strike Eagles. Five Hornets, two Mirages, and five A-10s, one F-16, and nine Eagles. Oh my God. <laughs> oh God. Uh, we are, we are hurting big time. So big time. Okay. And then they lost 17 MiG-23s and five Flankers. Six fencers and then one frog foot. Ouch. Oh, those nine eagles hurt. Okay, well, but we lost no frontline units, so that's good to know as well. Uh, so it will be, uh, I'll be doing my best here to get those eagles and my flights back to doing. We might have to take, uh, no, we got to push in here one more <laughs> time. Okay. So let me go ahead and save this and um, let's get into tack view. I'll see you in one second. Hey, welcome to tack view for this mission. What was it? mission number eight here? I think it was. So here I am. I took off, um, falling out these F 15s. Uh, a lot of action already happening here on the base. Um, F 14s are engaging some MiG 23s. F-14's dying. <laughs> I got the F-22's already on station, doing their dogfighting because they never launch missiles. <laughs> Go ahead and speed this up a little bit. A huge battle today. God, we lost so many aircraft. Oh, that was brutal. Yeah, I'm gonna have to really think about uh, talking to Congress to see if we get some more funds. <laughs> Uh, let's give us a plus up uh, to help with this war. Got some SE-30s in here close, doing some damage against 14s. Oh yeah, they just nailed a couple of our guys over here. Oh yeah, we cannot take that, take that uh, base over there. Where are... It's too bad, too bad, too bad. All right, so here's our S, yep, here's our S, our... S5. Gonna slow down here a little bit. Yeah, I was napping the earth here. And super tight. I think I was about anywhere from about 100 to 200 feet off the ground there. I don't think our uh, F-18s never made it in. Oh, there they are. Elephant seed. So let's back that up a little bit. See how they, if they were able to get in. Yeah, so here's that seed flight. All right, so they're getting pretty, they're already moving in, so that was good. Pick up the pace a little bit here. But yeah, they're in the thick of it with all the, um, all this aircraft over here. 23s. Start going in low. These guys were maneuvering because some uh, SE 30s are around. So I don't think they ever launched. They got engaged with a couple of MiG 23s. So yeah, they never launched. They were defending themselves. Five was firing on there. I was, yep, so they never made it. So they went back home. Coming in 
low and then I pop up. Drop off those 105s. Yeah, they did a pretty good amount of damage over there. Took out most of that group, so that was good. I was flying out. Let's come back to me. Took a shot at that MiG-23. Oh, look at that. M-20 was uh, following that F-15 for a little bit. And he's like, hey, man. So he lo started locking me up. <laughs> Head home, went to the tanker. Hooked up with the tanker. Got about two and a half thousand pounds of fuel. And headed home. So yeah, it's a pretty good little mission. A uh, little concerned about the amount of planes we've lost. Yep, just lost an F-15 over here. Uh, SE-30s were proved to be a challenge. Maybe I should have went and helped them out. Just lost another F-15. Oh, ouch. Well, that was uh, a good mission. We got the SA-5 out. Uh, we were unable to take those bases, and we lost a lot of airplanes. So, um, too aggressive, too aggressive. Uh, I think I'll be aggressive one more time, trying to take those two uh, facilities. And then after that, we're going to have to play defense for quite some time to uh, rebuild our, our funding. Uh, so we can beef up our Air Force. Okay, well, that should be it. Uh, good landing there, as you can see. And uh, let's go ahead and call it a day. Hey, thanks for watching. This was a, a little bit long, uh, but it was a good mission. Uh, get in there and do a strike and uh, take them out. So I'll see you next time, and you guys take care. All right, bye-bye.